And welcome back everybody, I'm Joseph here, playing through Tears of the Kingdom. And I haven't been making a whole lot of progress on the way to Rita Village because there's been so many nice things along the way to stop for. We're heading northwest from Central Hyrule. We got our marching orders from Pura. And it just made sense to begin with Rito Village because so many of the concerned citizens of Hyrule kept on bringing it up that village, the Rito Village is in a mess because of a blizzard. <sighs> well, let's have some fun with boat goblins here. Come on, gang. Let's have some fun. Oh, they're all archers. Let's crank it up. Okay, you go first. And then I go. Nice. Easy kill. Splash fruits. Those are new. Interested in the butterflies too for resources. Usually I don't use the butterflies except for upgrading this and that. I like to use the weaker bows for hunting the game. That's easy to get. Come on, Epona. Yeah. So we do want to make a stop before we get to Rito Village. We were told by Lady Impa about how here at the Forgotten Temple, she wanted to check things out pertaining to the search for Princess Zelda. So I wanted to stop there, but I don't want to stop there, get off of the horse. Oh, Addison. How could I help you today? So, yeah, Lady Empa needs to look at things at the Forgotten Temple. I think that we should definitely meet her there. She requested it. But I don't want to just get off of my horse and meet her there without knowing that I have a fast travel point to get back to. So I don't have to reclimb the canyon to get back to my horse. Okay, that might actually be enough. All right, what do you think, Addison? Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't think about that angle. Funny that the wood from his signs do not connect with the wood from these planks. Very clever, Nintendo. Let's go with a great big log wafer. Kind of looks like some sort of wafer cookie. I was concerned when I started playing the game that fusing stuff would always be a drag. Using Ultra Hand would always be cumbersome, but it hasn't proven to be. Okay, maybe? Just let go. It worked. Style in the purple hair. You do realize that you could dye your hair the color of Hudson's? Just saying. Sage's dye shop could probably get into the business of dyeing hair color. Addison, we like you too, but we really appreciate the payments too. Alright, Epona, no more horsing around. Ooh, there is a stable. I see the stable. And a tower. Okay, now it just got cold. Easy to overlook since... We don't have the HUD on, telling us when we're cold. But just throwing on the archaic warm greaves gets us warm enough. Oh, there's a cave. Okay, I do want to stop for caves. Uh, sorry, Epona. Better stop. Discovery. Mount Drina Foothill Cave. Wonder if it gets colder in a cave? Or warmer in a cave. Kind of feel like I'm going to be attacked.
Don't have any stealth clothing. So in the cult caves, you don't necessarily come across lizards. Oh, speak of the lizard. So you do find lizards, just maybe not in the same way that you would expect to find them in the damp caves. Not as many of them, not in the obvious places. Okay, so that's higher. But I saw another passage over here, right? Ooh. Got them both. Okay, so there's a passageway up there. Is that the only one? That's the exit. So I think that's the only passage forward. Word has it that every cave should have a bubble frog. So I want every bubble frog, bubble gem, that I can find. Oh! Did we make it? Ah, oh, nuts, we didn't. Yes, we hit the jackpot. We got fairies in here. Three of them. I don't think I've got one as of yet. Sweet. If I remember right, you don't ordinarily find the fairies when you... The little ones, when you go to the great fairies anymore. They could be nearby, like this cave might be right underneath one of the great fairies. But you won't necessarily find the little fairies just hanging out right there with the great fairy. These rogues don't seem to really mind if they got hit. I mean, they don't want to cuddle or anything, but they don't mind getting hit. Their bubbles are interesting. Let's see if the great fairy's up here. Yes, I was right. Okay, we'll say hello. Away with you! I don't want anything to do with the world ruined by gloom and ruled by monsters. It's cramped in my flower bud, but better than out there. I'll keep my blessing of clothing enhancement to myself. Until I hear the sound of a horn bringing some lively music into the world, I'll never go outside again. I moved here to be near a stable, or near enough anyway, so I could grace more travelers with my blessings. But now until I hear the sound of a horn bringing lively music into the world, I'll never go outside again. And she means it. And that is, I spy, our first Gleok. The frosty Gleok. Three-headed dragon. Flying serpent. Not to be meddled with. When we're ready, we will go for him. I don't have the weapons just yet to take on one of those. I do spy our friends. The Goblin's family. Was somebody shooting me from behind? Yeah, you. Hey, stop. <laughs> I used more than five arrows just to kill those guys. All right, opponent got us. She's got us covered. Let's head towards the stable. The light from the tower also is very attractive right now. Oh, you! 
We love you. Here's a birthday present. Get that bow out of my face. <laughs> Where did he come from? Has he been here the whole time? Do we have anything fi- Oh, yes. Hey, buddy. I got you covered. Brought your favorite. You know, that's a pretty horse. Should I take you? Should I make you my own? You used to belong to the Moblins. Or the Bokoblins. We could be pals. You're a very pretty horse. Yes, you are. Alright, let's do this. Oh, you're fairly weak. But maybe you'd be a good pulling horse? You seem pretty fast for a horse with only two spurs. We'll come back to Ipoda. Pool's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, we can handle this. Um, I do have some names in mind for my horses. I put down in a note. I'm gonna go with Sugarfoot. Okay. She looks really good with this colored saddle. So get her over here. I want to finish with this shrine. Orochium Shrine. Alright, anything... Nothing whatsoever. That's the way out. This is the way forward. Guessing I need to use Ultra Hand. Watch. Watch me die. See? Let's not do that again. Don't touch the red lights. We do have some constructs in here. Ooh, a Construct 2's horn. I think that's the first. And we got the shelf above. Yeah, this was one of the earlier shrines that took a little bit of time to figure out. It is very clever. Rauru had some of his better maze designs. So this is the way forward. Which you might not be able to tell. Don't give them a chance or they'll hook you all over. Hey, buddy. It's an easy way to get a flurry rush. Those are really cool shields. We don't need it so badly. We'll leave it behind. Although... We could use it to test the laser lights, and I'll show you why. There's actually a bottom to this space. So it's not so bad to be touched by these. Oh, my God. 
I know he's dead, but I just can't stop. I do have the option to get a better stick. Hmm. I really like this one, though. I like its size for the axes. We'll come back to that trap door in a minute. But I wanted to show you all things up here. So here we have another we need get to the glider. I think that's where we came through earlier. All right, so now we should try the trap door. But that's like the first one. This is the one we want to try. remember where we found the orb though. So again we can use the test. See if something's under this one. How did I miss that? Nothing good to see there. Oh wait, can we get back? Yeah, we can. Ah, uh, yes. right there yes and we do need this to get into the other <laughs> wouldn't it be terrible if it took us right out of the exit we had to start all over again because it had to reload. That does it. I think this gives us 10 lights of blessing. Wow, didn't realize it was going to show up in Rito Village all prepared. What a beautiful blustery day, guys. Ah, such gorgeous weather out here. 
that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you're playing along. There is so much to be had and enjoy in this game. You're going to make discoveries. I'm going to make discoveries. If you find some along the way that I've missed in these territories, be sure to pass them along. And God bless. Cheers. <laughs>